This morning we're at the Atlanta Botanical Gardens and we are talking hydrangeas with Taylor Polumski. Taylor, welcome. Thank you. So I love hydrangeas. It is one of the iconic garden plants. I can't imagine, especially a southern garden without hydrangeas. And there's so many questions that we have. A lot of the questions we get from viewers has to do with pruning hydrangeas. So let's just start there. There's a lot of things that we've got to keep in mind. It's pretty simple if we know what we're doing, but what do we need to think about when we think about correctly pruning hydrangeas? Definitely. Um, so with this species specifically, uh, Hydrangea macrophylla, this blooms on old wood. So what that means is that in the late summer to fall, what's going to happen is it's going to start to form new buds that will bloom the next year. So with that in mind, what you're going to do is prune the macrophylla kind of late summer as the blooms start to fade. You want to get that window like right before it starts to set the new buds. So late summer, you can go back a couple nodes if you like. It's important not to go too far back. Otherwise, next year, you're not going to have any blooms whatsoever. You'll just have a big green plant. And that's counter to the way that we think about pruning many woody ornamentals and shrubs um, mm -hmm. because, you know, we think in terms of winter pruning so that we maximize the amount of nutrition that goes back into the, into the root system. Definitely. And so it's a good, like, January, February prune. But with these guys, we will be disappointed if we do that. Most definitely, yep. Okay, so not all hydrangeas bloom on old wood, right? Yeah, so you've got the hydrangea paniculata. So those are gonna bloom on new wood. You can go in the kind of mid to late winter, like January or February, and you can prune those pretty much anytime you want because those new buds haven't started forming yet. So another question I've got for you is with regards to changing the colors of the hydrangea. Mm -hmm. Let's say that pink or blue is not working with our color scheme or we just have you know, particular affinity for one or the other. How do we shift the color between the pinks and the blues? Yeah, great question. So what you're gonna do is to get your hydrangea looking more blue, you want a more acidic soil. To get it looking more pink, you're gonna want a more alkaline basic soil. And that has to do with the pH, obviously. So to change it, you can go into most local garden centers um, and they'll sell garden lime, for instance, would be what you need to make it more alkaline to get that more pink bloom. And then they also sell something like a soil acidifier, and that's gonna help you uh, turn it back to blue. So basically what you're doing is you're sprinkling it around the base of the plant, the drip line, and then over time, that'll change the pH, and that will hopefully give you the result that you want with your hydrangea. Excellent, and it doesn't happen immediately. Sometimes it, it no. may take some months because, you know, especially something like lime, it, it takes it a minute to, to actually get down there where the roots exactly. are. Exactly, yeah, it's gonna take time to change the soil. You know, I'd probably say about a year because you, you get one bloom cycle a year. Yeah. Hopefully next year, you should be able to change the, uh, the color. Good. Yeah. So hydrangeas are fairly easy to grow, but is there any other care and maintenance tips that you would have for us? Where do they like to grow? Yeah, they love to grow in shady locations. If you plant one in full sun, at least the macrophyllas, uh, you're probably not going to have a great looking plant. I would put this somewhere you can kind of put it in a corner maybe, or up against the fence line in a shady area. They like that kind of bright morning sun is okay, um, but that afternoon heat is what really will burn these and damage the, the foliage on these. What kind of fertilizer do they like? Um, you could just go with like a basic 10, 10, 10, all purpose if you'd like. Some fertilizers are kind of more branded towards like blooming type plants. Right, um, right. You could do that if you'd like, but maybe once a year, just hit them with some fertilizer in the springtime when they're starting to flush out. Gotcha. Are there any other like pests and disease uh, pressures that, that may be on hydrangeas or are they, they fairly simple in that respect? Pretty simple. Um, you might start to like towards the end of the summer, you might start to find uh, black spots on the leaves. Um, typically that's sort of like a fungus. If you're ever going to treat black spot or something like that, you're going to use a fungicide. Um, and it's best to kind of do that like early in the morning um, before the sun okay. comes out. You don't want to burn the plant with the, with the fungicides. Well, Taylor, I feel great about our prospects with hydrangeas. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Of course, thank you.